and that's that's why I didn't put any matte medium on the eyes because I wanted it close. I wanted texture right around the eyes, but not not the eye that itself. And so at the when we break, I'll break like a couple minutes early so that you can come up and see really closely how I did the eye. And I wouldn't have been able to do that if there was matte medium there to get that. I don't know, it looks like a real eye. They both look, it looks like it's looking at me. You know, and it makes me feel like, yeah, I gotcha. You're here. You're going to touch some people's lives. I love that. That's why I paint. It's another form of communication. It's, it's saying the things that I don't have the words to say, you know? And I talk a lot. <laughs> But I love that. I love that about painting. I love the communication that happens. I sold a, a piece I did to a guy I've never met before who, it, I painted it when I was with my daughter in, in um, Palermo, Sicily. Sicily had always been on my radar. You know, you hear mafia and all that. I thought, I bet they're just really nice, normal people there too, like everywhere else. And, and it was true. They were lovely. It was so much fun. It was great. But I loved this cafe that we, we had lunch at, and as we left, I'd snapped a picture, and I didn't have a chance to even do like a little test piece. Um, the, the second painting over there is, um, is that it? Oh no, it's on the floor now. The painting that's on the floor over there is uh, from Rome. And I did that plein air there, not that one, but a teeny one, not teeny, like this big. And I worked out all the details of how I was going to paint it when I got home, because I wanted to paint it bigger. Um, the Palermo Sicily one, I didn't have time to do that, but it really stayed in my mind. And a, a young man who saw it said, I, I, I went to Palermo Sicily when I was in college, and you make me feel like I'm back there. Well, how cool is that? Something about it struck a note in a chord in him that he just thought it was so reminiscent of what he was after. That look. So now I'm doing that little activating thing. Just, just a teeny bit on the edge. Oh, I love that. <laughs> so I always stand at home because I can get back and get a distance and see what I'm doing. So I'm going into some of that neutral to bridge that gap where I wanted to look rounder. Why do I do it? I don't know, I just try things. And I, I want it to look right. Hmm? I'm wondering right now what I'm doing. Need to see a little orange somewhere in his toes. I don't know why. Right there, yeah. So, I if if something occurs to me, I do it. I don't know if that's helpful. <laughs> Whenever I do it, I'm always glad. Do I hear a question? Uh, no, I need to. You've got a couple of minutes if you want them. But okay. Because I know you needed time to do your little. What is it you do? You, you do vote? Your it, but you finish what you want to do here. You've got any time from now and in the next three, four, or five minutes. Okay. Sometimes I find that when I'm doing in some shadowy things, 
if you if I wait a little bit and go back in and just touch it a little more, it, it's like good news. It is or isn't. It is. It's like you're at a different di di drying phase. So if you did something, you think I don't know if that's quite right. Go back in and touch it again. It's like oh, nice. So again, I, I'm sticking with those same colors. <coughs> like I said, I want to give you a chance to come see. So do you see how hard I'm squeezing this, getting the water out? So it acts as a soft lifter when I do that. You now flat's a better lifter, but sometimes you don't want that dramatic of a lift. You know, my elephant's so dramatic, I wanted a little more color in that tusk. So I'll, I think I'll be charging in a little more color on the other tusk too. Maybe at home, because no, I don't want to bore you. So, do you have any questions? I always try to keep it fun, keep painting, you know, so that it makes me feel like I'm happy doing what I do. What's the elephant's name? You know, <laughs> I haven't named it. You know, part of their part of their wildness was Kenya's all about keeping them wild. So. If there are any action, interactions between animals and people, the people have to give way. I loved that. So I was trying not to name the creatures. I just loved them and saw such amazing sights. Giraffes are next. <laughs> They're next on my radar. So I've done. I've gotten elephant in a way where I, I love it. Um, we also saw some beautiful birds, and I've got one bird done. Um, I saw birds like. I'm not a crazy birder, but I know differences between the birds and Malachite kingfisher, gray-headed kingfisher, those bee eaters, wow. Could you put your other picture on top of that one? Oh, it's wet. It's wet. Oh, it's wet. Oh. Well, maybe you can just look at it. Well, I want to, I want to uh, fade in and out on the, on the video. Okay. Okay, that, you can hold it. Good. Okay. Then take it off. Okay, good. Well, they're not exactly the same size because I just drew them. Right, right, right. But they're pretty close. They're pretty close. You know, I've drawn them a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so thank you. much. Yes. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. Okay. Really fun to be here. Thank you for going with our technical issues. Oh, you were great. Yeah. <laughs> not a problem. You know, yeah, I'm the one that screwed up. Frank, it worked out great. Yeah, the yeah, beautiful painting. Thank you. Okay, so we have here loading. Uh, oh, does anyone want me to leave it? I think that um, if you can give us the um, your microphone. Oh, sure. I'll use that and then we won't have to drive it.